Hello everyone, I've got another weekly mutation walkthrough for you, and that is slow and steady. Now, sorry it took me so long to get this posted. I was having some problems with my computer recording software. Now, I've got like three different recording softwares. I've got a recording software for my computer, I've got a recording software for my Xbox One, and I've got a recording software for my phone, my iOS device. <laughs> so my computer one wasn't working that's why i wasn't able to post the starcraft 2 uh, walkthrough i have for this weekly mutation right away so i apologize for that anyways our mutation is slow and steady amon's forces are determined to claim belshir's terezine for themselves they will stop at nothing to prevent you from reaching stetman's harvesters in time to save them move as fast as you can to catch up to your enemies and and end their assault it's on the missed opportunities co-op mission first mutation is time warp Enemy time warps are periodically deployed throughout the map. The second is speed freaks. Enemy units have increased movement speed. And the third is concussive attacks. Player units are slowed by all enemy attacks. 185,000 possible bonus experience by being this on Brittle. And I have already done this. So I'm just going to be clicking on a replay for you guys. All right, right here, we got missed opportunities. Oh, I'm sorry, I've got to go back to here. Okay, so for I was playing as Karax and my teammate was playing as Nova. And for mastery skill points, I was using Structure, Life, and Shields, Power Set 2, Repair, Beam, Healing Rate, and Power Set 3, Initial and Maximum, Spear of a Dune, Energy. Okay, now we can go ahead and hop straight into this. Okay, we're in. Alright, so my teammate is Loric, and what I'm going to start doing, just pumping out a bunch of probes here, and as soon as I get all these uh, up to the, this next probe out right here, I am going to build a pylon. And then I'm going to bring down one of the probes and start destroying the rocks down at the expansion here. Okay, yep, bringing the probe down here. Okay, and we're going to start destroying these rocks with the orbital strikes, and I've got the F4 hotkey set up right now. So I will be able to just go straight through and clear all of these out. And I'm just going to save up for a second, and then we're going to throw down our expansion nexus here. Okay, so now we got both both uh, nexus going, and I'm going to be building another probe, and just basically going to be getting out a forge, and then just uh, trying to you know get the economy strong, get out a bunch of defenses right away, and then we'll have a bunch of static defense, and then in the meantime, my teammate. It's going to make a bunch of uh, bio, a big bio army, and that'll be our support, and it'll work out really well. <laughs> and I'm trying to do what a couple of you have been suggesting, and I was kind of skeptical of it at, for a little while, I guess. Um, basically, a lot of you have been saying, you know, build more photon cannons and shield batteries, and you know what? I, I agree with you there. Uh, I tried it out in this playthrough, and the more photon cannons and shield batteries is actually working really quite well. <laughs> so I'm probably going to be doing that from now on. Alright, so as you can see I threw down these two assimilators here and that was uh, yeah, a little bad timing. I should have thrown down one, saturated, and then throw it on the second, but whatever. I threw them down, both of them down, and I got them both saturated at the same time. And now I'm throwing down a forge. And that'll be completed soon. As soon as we have enough gas, I'll start getting optimized ordnance. It appears the enemy is advancing. And I'm just about to have this expansion finished. I'm throwing down a pylon so I can make some photon cannons like here and here to destroy these uh, rocks. And I'll start pumping out some probes out of this expansion as well. You guys can see these guys move fast. I'm just going to use a couple orbital strikes here to take out these roaches. And I'm going to keep on making probes. Yeah, there we go. There we go. Okay, throwing down the first photon cannon, and oh man, I was a little bit sloppy with this guy. <laughs> Just out of range. Can't can't reach these rocks, unfortunately, so that kind of stunk. But oh well. Okay, oh, I'm a little slow right here. I should be throwing down some more probes, or warping in more. I'll have chrono wave soon, though, so at least I can make some from that. Throwing down a gateway, that way we can start teching up and getting more upgrades. Get a cybernetics core, then a twilight council, and then once we have a twilight council, we can get... Solar efficiency level two, and so on and so forth. Uh, anyway, uh, things are going pretty smoothly right at the start here. I'm gonna throw down a pylon, I think, somewhere in here. Just waiting a second, I think. And I'll probably throw down a first pylon right here. 
and just kind of build a little mini wall so if any units come they'll have to run around run around these buildings first yep okay so I've got that in place both of the rocks are cleared out of expansion for the gas still making some probes every now and then I should should be constant on the, that probe probe production but I'm a little bit slow still unfortunately okay I am getting however I am getting optimized ordinance that's that increased attack speed of the photon cannons in the Kader and monolith by 25% so we got that coming in here I, I will turn on our uh, upgrades tab or production tab I mean oh yeah I also have a uh, solar efficiency solar efficiency level one coming in and I have chrono wave ready pretty much as soon as you get chrono wave uh, prepared in the beginning you should probably use it right away at least that's my opinion and you should probably uh, finish saturating your your supply lines with your chrono wave so save up a, a little bit a decent amount of minerals and then just pump out a ton of probes and have both of your supply lines completely saturated if you get both of your supply lines saturated the, the sooner the better because you can just you know produce so much more okay I got the cybernetics core down next thing I'm going to need to get is the twilight council but in the meantime, I'm getting fortification barrier from our forge that allows the shield batteries to grant target structures a barrier that absorbs up to 100 damage for 10 seconds. And I'm just using, I'm throwing down a pylon and then throwing down uh, photon cannons to just start clearing out these guys in front of these uh, areas, areas where these, um, uh, what are they called, the harvesting bots. I'm clearing out the areas where the harvesting bots need to gather the terrazine from and just throwing down a bunch of photon cannons. As you can see, one shield battery, four photon cannons, and I still like shield batteries a lot, so I am throwing down an extra one, just because this guy's low on energy right now. And uh, But later on, you will see, I, I definitely do throw down majority photon cannons versus shield batteries. Okay, now I'm finally using Chrono Wave, because I'm finally starting to catch up a bit here. And I'm just trying to make as many probes as I can. I was a little low on uh, minerals, so I'm not able to br completely use the entire Chrono Wave as effectively as possible. Should have saved up a little bit more before I used it so I could get more probes out. Anyway, we're pretty much saturated. We've got our home base completely saturated. And we have enough probes here to saturate our assimilator. So we will be com we're completely good to go on our level of probes. I've actually made too many right now. And I'm throwing down our Twilight Council finally. And I'm getting enhanced targeting from the Forge. That's the third upgrade I'm getting. That'll allow your Photon Cannons, Kidder and Monoliths, and Shield Barriers to gain that plus two range. Here comes that first enemy wave. For, uh, to attack this harvesting bot, the second round of harvesting bots, I guess. And I use a solar lance, and I stay in the solar lance, uh, just because uh, <laughs> I was waiting for something to pop up here. I was like, okay, is there a second wave coming? Oh, and there it did. Got at least one, of the, one second wave here. So we were able to get, kill one second wave, but uh, yeah, I didn't, I didn't use all three of those solar lances very effectively. Probably just should have used some orbital strikes. But our, our teammate definitely has enough stuff here. Even though these mutations, I mean, we've got Time Warp, they have Speed Freaks, and con there's concussive attacks that slow down your unit's movement speed. I mean, doesn't really matter. <laughs> Player units are slowed by all enemy attacks. So yeah, I think it just affects the movement speed, not the actual attack speed. Yeah, yeah, so you don't have anything affecting your attack speed. So, I mean, though these units do move decently slow, I've got the defenses in place, which will handle this stuff, and then my teammate doesn't really have to move that much, as long as, as long as, uh, if you are playing, uh, a co-op commander that doesn't use static defenses like Karax or Swan, and you're moving around, a, a an army, I mean, it, it doesn't matter, as long as you stay next to these harvesting bots, the movement speed's not gonna be all that, you know, it's not gonna hurt you that much. Anyways, I am getting rapid recharging from the Twilight Council, and that allows your shield batteries and your energizers to regenerate energy 200% faster. I'm also getting solar efficiency level 2, and I've got advanced repair systems on the queue next, so that'll allow our reconstruction beam to repair another target up to 4 instead of 3. We were going to get this bonus objective, my teammate will do a little bit of work, but we don't get very much further. Anyway, I had a bunch of extra probes, so I brought them out over here, and I'm just leaving them out here, and I'm going to start spreading out my probes so I can rebuild defenses as time goes on, and I think I really am going to start playing uh, missed opportunities more like this. I'm going to start leaving static defenses, or enough static defense in places so that uh, 
in places where waves will spawn so that I don't have to be out of position all the time. It's nice when you have defenses right here, so in a later wave, uh, when you're up here with these harvesting bots, there's going to be a wave that spawns down here, and I'm going to have some defenses in place, and that's going to help us a lot. Anyway, my teammates, uh, we cleared this out pretty early, so I started, I used my purifier beam and I cleared this whole area out down here. I didn't show you guys that, but used the purifier beam, cleared everything out down here. Then I took a couple of my probes and I started building a bunch of photon cans, as you can see, only a couple shield batteries. And I've just got some static defense in place right here. That'll, that'll definitely protect this harvesting bot. And then I'm going to start clearing out this area with my teammates. Just pause for a second here. Okay, we're going to unpause that. Alright, so, yeah, basically we're just clearing out this area down here. And now there's some enemy waves coming in, but once again, we've got these uh, static defense in place. And whenever these uh, photon cannons just need a little more help, my teammate's doing a really good job of sending down airstrikes, or whatever they're called, I can't remember anymore. But, uh, yeah, dropping down those strikes. And then also, I'm just using the photon cannons to help strike them down. And these photon cans are doing some serious work here. I'm also getting, uh, let's see here, I got a robotics facility. I threw down a robotics base so we can get solar efficiency level 3. And I've thrown down, uh, I've got four warp gates now. I got the warp gate upgrade from the cybernetics core. And I'm going to start pumping out a bunch of energizers. And as you can see, I'm putting them, putting them in the phasing mode. And I'm going to put them at every single set of defenses that I have. So that at wherever my defenses are, they will get increased attack speed including that uh, those upgrades that I got like optimized ordinance so they're really going to be able to shoot fast <laughs> so as, yeah as you can see these guys are just getting completely gunned down like they're they're like machine guns basically it's it's awesome okay I'm also getting phase detonation that allows the orbital strikes to stun enemies for 1.5 seconds and then we're getting solar flares that'll uh, solar flare for the solar lance and that'll allow the solar lances to leave a burning trail kind of like that on the ground that deals extra 200 damage over time and as you can see there's another airstrike here I'm just gonna pop into my teammates thing for a second here tactical oh no nope, that's not it aha Griffin airstrike it's been a while since I played as Nova that's what they're called Griffin airstrikes <clears throat> okay my teammate is on uh, attacks at level 2 and armor level 2 okay and I'm just slowly creeping forward here and I'm going to create a bunch more defenses right down here not only to protect the harvesting bots but uh, the reason I'm going to create a bunch of defenses down here is because when we get to the wave the uh, we, we missed out on this bonus objective here but oh well it doesn't doesn't matter that much anyway so we're going to go up to uh, for the fifth wave when we go up here there's going to be at least maybe three i'm guessing three enemy attack waves that are going to spawn right here and i'm just going to have a bunch of defenses in place that are going to start attacking those guys right from the get-go so they're going to get distracted they're not going to move forward and attack these harvesting bots and not only that that'll give us time to pop over here and i can use my orbital strikes and then my teammate can use those griffin air strikes <clears throat> Okay, now I'm starting to warp in some of these energizers, and I'm going to start throwing down some shield batteries and some more photon cans like I was talking about. I'm also getting solar efficiency level 3, using Chrono Wave whenever possible, and then just throwing down, like I said, as many photon cannons over here as I can. Let's see. Yeah, I tried to spend a little bit of energy to, upgrade, to take out this bonus objective, but that just didn't work out so well. In the meantime, I think I'm going to throw down a couple more photon cannons right there, if I remember correctly. My teammate's clearing out all of these uh, enemy waves that are up here, so that's working out pretty well. And I'm going to eventually get up there. My probe got stuck, and I didn't realize that. But I sent an additional probe, an additional probe down here to start producing some units for us. Or, not units, structures. So yeah, I'm going to throw a pylon down here. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to throw a bunch of photon cannons and then like kind of like right here and then throw down a, some shield batteries behind them. I think I'll just, yeah, I'll throw a couple back here, but mostly I'm, f I'm making my photon cannons face this way because the enemy waves are going to come from up here when, uh, well, there will be a couple enemy waves that come from over here for this uh, wave number four for the harvesting bots, but 
I, I'm uh, thinking ahead to the final wave because there's going to be a couple huge waves that spawn right in from over here. So I want to make sure these defenses are kind of kind of in position to take on the stuff that's coming. And it, it, it's kind of like uh, I've got this little ring shape. I don't know. I kind of like doing it like that because it makes the units, uh, the enemy army kind of split up and they, they have to go around. I don't know. It, I kind of like it. I think it works well versus, you know, a, a reverse U-shape like that where they could all get in and start attacking. And I don't know. It, it's a personal preference thing, I guess. Works out well for me. And then I'm also throwing down some photon cannons and then I'm going to make a wall. Well, throw down a couple shield batteries here and I'm going to make a wall of photon cannons right here. Because once again, I want to be able, if, I, if I'm looking away, I want to make sure that the enemy wave that's going to come from over here is going to get stopped. And then we'll have time to come over here, use orbital strikes, purifier beams, solar lances, whatever we need to do to help provide more defenses. As you can see, I've got energizers all over the place. They're all in phasing mode doing work for us. And I'm dropping a ton of orbital strikes because a big wave spawned in over here. And I didn't have very many defenses, but this is really distracting these guys because the reconstruction beam is repairing everything. It's kind of funny, actually. And then I dropped down a pure fire beam over here because there's a big wave. <laughs> but my teammate actually ended up killing everything, so my, my pure fire beam wasn't doing all that much. However, I am bringing the pure fire beam up over here, and I'm going to start killing all of this stuff at the bonus objective. Not that it did too much work here. Would have been better to use the purifier beam here. Not that it mattered once again because my teammate's on top of it with that Gryphon airstrike. I had a really good teammate. I mean, wherever I wasn't, my teammate was. It, it worked out great. And then once again, these static defenses are doing a lot of work for us because there were a couple units left and they started sneaking in over here, but I already have defenses in place that are going to slow these guys down. And I probably will drop a couple orbital strikes down here to help. Oh, once again, there's my teammate with the Gryphon airstrike. <laughs> oh, that's just awesome. I think I am going to bring another probe over here and start rebuilding this, though, since I lost some defenses. Now, here's one of those big waves I was talking about. I'm using a solar lance. See, I have the defenses in place. Energizers are speeding up everything. And then the solar lances, I was able to get over here, get my screen over here, and I was able to finish all that stuff off. I think my, yep, my teammate helped kill off that lurker. I will be bringing a probe here. Let's, let's look at my player screen. Okay, yeah, I'm starting to split up all these probes here, and I'm getting them all in different positions so that I can bounce around wherever I need to across the map in preparation for wave five and uh, start being able to rebuild defenses wherever there's a weak spot. And I'm just kind of trying to push forward right now. But I think eventually I am going to build some more. I'm almost positive I built more photon cans over here. Just not sure when I did that. Anyway, we have pretty much all of the upgrades we need, except for Shields Level 3. That's the last one I think I would consider getting. We're playing against Zerg, so there's no point in getting the Reclamation that allows you to take mechanical units. So yeah, no no point in getting that upgrade. I actually said that in one of my last videos. I was like, uh, don't get Reclamation because like don't, I don't use it very often. Blah, blah, blah. Anyways, I was playing against Zerg, so that would be a reason in itself not to get it because you cannot capture Zerg units because they are not mechanical. They are all biological. <laughs> but whatever happens. Make mistakes when you're recording. Okay, yeah. Just slow, so slowly moving forward because of the mutations. <laughs> and yeah, as you can see, these photon cans have a decent amount of shields and, and uh, what is it called? Armor or health points, I guess, so you can just slowly clear out everything. Oh, what's he, oh, yeah, see, look at this. This, my defense is just kind of like trap everything here. It's kind of like, what the heck's going on? And he picked up my energizer that was in phasing mode. That was kind of funny. Where'd it get left? Yeah, <laughs> now I have an extra energizer over there. Anyways, I started destroying this photon cannon because it was getting in my way and my teammates way. So I don't want us to accidentally misclick and half of our army not be there. Okay, and here comes the fifth and final wave of harvesting bots moving out. And we have, if you look at the minimap, I've got this completely walled off. Not that they're going to come from over here. I've got a decent amount of defenses over here. I've got defenses over here if they happen to come over here. Not that they are going to on wave five. It's not going to happen. The, on wave five, I believe they spawn from here, here, and here. Anyway, so I'm going to start setting up a bunch of defenses just all over the place. I don't have any real structure for the defenses up here. I'm just trying to, as I get resources and gas, I don't need to worry about gas, but as I get resources, I'm just going to keep on throwing down defenses wherever I can. 
And then whenever I see a wave, I'm going to use Solar Lances or Orbital Strikes. And then we'll be able to finish taking off all, taking out all the rest of the stuff that's over here. And I think I was just waiting for uh, another wave to pop up somewhere to use my last Solar Lance. But, oh yep, here, I, I used the last Solar Lance over here. So I was able to take out the majority of that. And then the defenses I had in place, we're able to finish off the rest of these guys. So that works out really well. That's why I am that's why I have these Photon Cans and Shield Batteries in place. Okay, here comes another wave over here. I don't have Solar Lance available this time, so I'm just going to use uh, Orbital Strikes. And I'm not using them very rapidly. The reason for that is of the stun ability. I'm just trying to slowly uh, stun these guys every now and then and let my defenses do the most, the majority of the work so I can save uh, this solar energy. And then, uh, once again, I think I, yeah, just dropped a bunch more orbital strikes over here. Probably going to drop some more orbital strikes. My teammate used the Gryphon Air Strike on these guys. Let's see, am I going to drop an orbital strike? Yep, here we go. I lost a bunch of defenses because I wasn't paying attention. I think I was dropping down defenses over here. But I do have a probe here. And as soon as those guys are dead, I'm just going to throw down a bunch more photon cannons right in the front and recreate the same defense. And these energizers are doing a lot of work. They're really helping out. Yep, and here we go. Once again, just recreating that line of defenses. Okay, and here comes another wave. Yeah, as you can see, we're, we are stomping these waves. We're completely crushing them before they even have a chance to get very far. Okay, and I'm going to warp in another Energizer. And once again, here's another wave, and we're on top of it. Had defenses in place, and I used the Solar Lance. So yeah, you guys, I mean, Karak's is such a powerful commander. I use him in almost every single mutation, but yeah, if you want to use this, like, uh, I mean, I, I advise you guys to use this uh, strategy for this mutation. Not that, I mean, I think this, this mutation is actually pretty easy, but yeah, moving forward on the Missed Opportunities co-op mission, I'm going to try and use more photon cannons instead of shield batteries on actually any any type of gameplay I'm using with Karax. I'm going to try and use more photon cannons and shield batteries. But moving forward, I'm going to try get defenses in place at these specific locations because that's really that really helps with being able to just stop the enemy waves before they even get anywhere. And yeah, I lost a lot of defenses here, but I have so many more defenses in place. Even if they broke through these front defenses, all these harvesting bots are so far back that I have defenses and defenses and more defenses just everywhere. There's no way they'd be able to make it to this harvesting bot at this point. Yeah, just no way. So we've got this completely covered. And yeah, so, all right, so for wave one, I mean, you don't really have to worry about that, but place defenses here. For wave two, place your defenses right here and right here. And then for wave three, you're gonna want defenses right here right here and then right here if you have enough resources at the moment in time is that wave wait we got wave two wave three oh maybe there's only four waves did i miss huh uh, <laughs> uh i don't know i'm i'm missing something here oh oh wave three. Oh, that's what it was okay so we're gonna we're gonna step back for a second here i'm sorry i got a little confused okay we'll just We'll just step back for one moment and pause the game. Okay, pause. Okay, so for wave one, place your defenses right here. Wave two, place defenses right here and right here. For wave three, this is the one I forgot, use your pure fire beam, clear out everything. And you'll be able to clear out the majority of the stuff right here. You still have some stuff right here. But anyways, place your defenses right along this spot right here and a little bit right here and then start clearing out this area with your teammate. Place de a bunch of defenses right here. Even if you already have this all secured for this uh, wave three harvesting bot, this will help you in the later uh, waves, like wave four and wave five. So keep de a bunch of defenses right here. Then for wave four, place defenses here, here, and here. And then finally, wave five, You'll have all, you should have the majority of your defenses left from previously, so all you really have to worry about is placing defenses right up here. And place energizers wherever you have defenses. As you can see, I've got energizers everywhere. I, I really use energizers and photon cannons this time. And that's how Karak's really should be played, I believe, if you're playing the defense strategy at least. Tons of photon cannons and tons of energizers, and you will absolutely crush your opponent. Now, I had a really good teammate too, so that helped a lot, but I think it's the static defenses that really uh, helped give us the win on this one. Okay, so that's uh, all I have for you guys in this video. 
Make sure to subscribe to the YouTube channel if you haven't done that yet and you want to see more walkthrough videos. Leave a like on the video if you liked it, and I will see you guys in the next one.